Hey guys, welcome to Running Reimagine. For those of you that don't know, my name is Dylan Hopper. I come out with three videos a week that give you a tip or a trick to help improve uh, your running experience and hopefully over time really transform it. So today's tip has to do with incrementally increasing your core strength without realizing it. Essentially what it is is a rule where when you go into a certain room in your house, you have to do a certain core exercise uh, X number of times. So right now what mine is is I go downstairs and I have to do 12 pull-ups every time I go in the garage. Every time I come back in from the garage, I have to do 12 pull-ups. And it's a way uh, to just do something on those days where you know life happens and you don't get to work out the way you wanted to or you don't get to go run. But then at the end of the day, you still have done this you know, X number of core strengthening exercises, which takes an effect over time because core is one of those things that you need to do consistently. Otherwise, it's not going to really help you that much. And on the flip side, you'll have days where <laughs> you'll find that you're going in and out of that room so many times that all of a sudden your core, whatever the exercise you did, is just dead. So for last Saturday, I, I don't know why, but I was going in and out of the garage to just do things um, so many times that like by the end of the day, I couldn't do 12 pull-ups. <laughs> and so what I did was I brought a chair out and I put my feet on a chair to help me, give me the body weight to do it. And that's the thing. So when choose a number for whether it's push-ups, whether it's crunches, whether it's planks, Choose a number that you're going to do and commit to that number and don't change it. But if you get to a point where you can't do that number anymore, then help yourself out. Still do that number, but help yourself out. So if you're doing pull-ups, you can bring out a chair and put some body weight on the chair. If you're doing push-ups, you can maybe go to your knees or what? if you put your arms wider, it's going to make it easier for you. Uh, if you're doing certain types of crunches, uh, there's different ways you can make it easier for yourself. So that's kind of my tip today. I hope that helps you guys out. Uh, I've used this for a number of years now, and it's been a, a really helpful way to consistently keep my core strength strong uh, without really putting in that much effort and really realizing what I'm doing. And it's kind of fun. So I uh, hope you guys have a great day today. Uh, take care. I appreciate you.